wondering if you are truly my mother. Because if I am a man, sometimes I think, how can a mother be this wicked? Eh? Think about it. How can a mother be this wicked? Imagine if this girl was your own daughter. God forbid! Lucia can never be my daughter. For real? Lucia Mwanyaga, my own daughter. For what? Abumaga! Abumaga! I reject you! I reject you seven times. Amen. I reject you in my seven words to come. Amen. I reject you, Madame Mama Nifer. Amen. You can never be my daughter. Never. You will not eat this food. Never. This food. Mama. You will not eat it. Give me money. Lucia, give me 100 naira. Did he just call me by my name? Give me money. I will use it to buy cheap. One Venza, one GLK. <laughs> Be careful with friends. Yeah, man? Be careful with friends. Be careful with friends. Lucia. Lucia. Lucia! Be careful! My friends! Woo! Gioke! Venza! Woo! 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 Be careful! My friends! Gioke! Venza! She done What is her crime? Come on, what just happened? Who told that madman my name? Let's do this later, please. Hello, babe, where are you? I'm on my wait. You sound tensed. Are you okay? I'm on my way to your boutique already. Is everything good with you? Look, just just come, hurry up, okay? I'm waiting. See you. Are you okay? She sounded so tense. What? What was that? 
Ma, are you okay? Excuse me. Mind your business. What happened? I don't know. Are you sure she's okay? I don't know. You didn't ask her. <laughs> wow. I can't believe what happened. You sounded very low on phone. What is it? You know, I, I am still in shock. I'm still trying to, to, to absorb and understand exactly what just happened. Uh, please, Luc Lucia, just take a deep breath. Calm down. Then explain to me what, it, what is it. Life is just so unfair to me. Hey, is it about the the test you and your husband went to the hospital for? It didn't come out positive. After all the medications the doctor gave to you. This year, I don't know what I did wrong. I don't know what is happening to my marriage. I don't understand. Are you just going to sit here and whip up sympathy without telling me what the problem is? What is it? What is her crime? Nobody deserves this. Nobody deserves this. Nobody deserves to be treated this way. Nobody can take this. Nobody sir. can take this. Nobody Excuse me, sir. can take this and lie away. Sir. Here's a proposal, so it's ready. Is there anything you want me to do for you? Fine, fine. Okay, let me get back to work. So, so are you sure you're fine? Is everything okay? I'm okay, I just have I just have a slight headache. Oh. So let me let me quickly get you two drinks. That should help with your headache. I'll be I'll be back in a minute.
when I and my husband finished with Dr. Michelle at the hospital, mm -hmm. he went to his office and I drove down here to the boutique. Okay. Reaching here, I parked the car, alighted. I was just about to walk into the boutique and a madman rushed to me, stopped me and demanded that I should give him 100 naira. He mad he, he, he happened before. Okay. So he, he asked me for 100 naira. It was weird. I didn't have 100 naira. He said he wanted to use it to buy a Jeep. A Jeep? Yes. So I, I couldn't find 100 naira. I gave him 1,000 naira. Just as I was, I was about to leave, he stopped me again and said something very worrisome. What did he say to you? It was more like a warning. A madman warned you? Yes. He warned me to be careful of friends. Can you imagine? And the worst is that he called me by my name. Exact person. That is where the problem is. He wasn't specific. I, I don't understand you, Lucia. First, you said he's a madman. S secondly, you said he asked you for 100 naira. Then you gave him 1,000 naira. Mm -hmm. He now said he was going to use the 1,000 naira to buy two jeeps. Who is going to buy two? Who, who buys two jeeps with, with 1,000 naira? Who? I see. I'm surprised that you, of all people, will allow a mentally deranged person control your feelings. Tina, you haven't been listening to me. I told you that this man called me by my name. He, he called your name. He called my name, Gina C. Do you know that these mentally unstable people, they just have this way of saying things that we saying people cannot see. Their mental instability just makes them sort of extraordinary. <laughs> Should I bust your bubble? What? I went to the market one day to get some things. Mm -hmm. Immediately I entered inside the market. Mm -hmm. Some group of people started shouting, Auntie Regina, come and buy something from us. So, ah. I turned and I saw the particular man that called my name. I said, Ogao, I don't know. How did you know my name? Because me, I cannot even remember him from anywhere. He said, no, he just guessed. And he guessed right. What I'm trying to tell you is that I am sure this madman just guessed and he guessed right. Now you are here, sitting and crying and whining like a child. I don't understand. I just felt this, this goosebumps all over me, the way he said it. It's just... See, please, 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 uh, please, Lucia, please, stop this. Don't allow a mentally deranged person Stop making you feel this way. It's not nice. Uh, it's, do you know what? Enough of this madman wahala. Can we just change the topic? What was your test result? How did it go? Tina, please, I'm just exhausted. I'm tired. Tired of what exactly? Tired of this miserable life of mine, of course. Chimu. Stop now, Lucia. See, Lucy, Lucy, do not allow your inability to conceive make you feel miserable. You are, you are just married for just 10 years. Just 10 years? You call 10 years just 10 years of misery, 10 years of sorrow, 10 years of 
not being able to conceive, 10 years of not missing my period, not even for once, and you call it just, how can you call it just? I'm sorry, this was a slip of tongue, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just tired, I, I just feel like ending it all, eh? and I'm going to do it someday. And what? Don't just try it all. Don't just try it at all. Suicide is not an option. And what? Suicide is a permanent solution to a temporal problem. Don't do it now. Why are you talking? If you just kill yourself, if you kill yourself, know that I'm going to join you immediately. I will join you once you just die today. I will just die tomorrow. Know that. Because me, you're not going to leave me in this world alone. So don't start. She is okay. Oh, tell me now. Um, how did your meeting with Dr. Mitchell go? With tears in her eyes. Pain in her heart, she never bears no grudge. She's ready to love whenever. I just said I'm on my way. Priscilla, you're disturbing me. I just said I'm on my way. She's ready to help. Okay. Wherever, however, whoever. You're not to wait for me now. Hello. You are, she will never. I just said I'm on my way. Get off my phone. Hello. What can I do for you? Um, can I get to meet you? My name is Kester. I'm not interested. Excuse me. Please. Hey, 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 listen. You don't have to be arrogant about it. I mean, just a new friend, an acquaintance. That's all. See, you won't regret meeting Kester. A man like Kester, a man to be with. Trust me. And I just said, I'm not interested. Are you daft? I'm not. You don't have to sound that rude. You don't even know me. I just get to meet you now and you're sounding this one me. Okay, come on, darling. No, no, come on, let's meet. Mr. Kester, I do not care to know you. Excuse me, please. Harold, all the tests carried out on you and your beautiful wife shows there is nothing wrong with both of you medically. No trace of infections at all. You do not have low sperm count, which of course is the cause of miscarriage or infertility in most women. Okay. And Lucy, I hear do not have ovarian cysts. No blockage of fallopian tube. No hormone imbalance. Then what is stopping my wife from conceiving and carrying a baby in her womb for nine months and also giving birth like every other woman? What's stopping her? Um, that is what I do not have an explanation to. She is perfectly okay. You two should be able to reproduce offspring. I can't fathom the reason she can't conceive. Doctor, I'm sure there is something. I'm sure there is something you can do for us. Huh? Yes, sure. What is her crime? Yes. For, for ten good solid years. My wife and I have suffered in the hands of family members and friends. There is nothing they've not called us. A lot of people have humiliated us, called my wife barren. I, I, I mean, some even opined that that my wife is an old banjo. Oh, far from it. Lucia, you have to take it easy. We are going to find a way around this. When? Hmm. Doctor, I just want a baby. I want to give my husband a child. Since we got married, all our friends, they were married at the same time. They all have children. One, two, three, four. I just want one, just one. Please help us. 
I knew couples it took 10, 15, 20 years before they started recreation. God forbid. Amen. That is not our portion. I understand how you feel, Lucia. To some, it happens just like that. While some, it takes a trial of faith. At this point, I think I will suggest IVF to you guys. IVF. IVF. Yes. We suggest the IVF to couples who cannot get pregnant naturally on their own. Doctor, I am not barren. Yes, my, my, my wife is not barren. I believe and I have faith that she can conceive. The more reason I suggest IVF in the first place. Let us try this and see how it goes. She's ready to help her. Wherever, however, whoever. What do you think? Well, Doctor, um, my wife and I will go home and we will ponder over it. Once we come to a conclusion, I will give you a call. It's okay. Just take your time. Nobody deserves this. Nobody deserves to be treated this way. This is no longer funny. I mean, something is wrong somewhere. Ten years without conception. I don't know who I offended. But I know someone is responsible for this. Someone is out to ruin my life. Lucia, my friend, you know sometimes we, we humans, we keep looking for a problem elsewhere. Whereas the person killing us might be very close to us. I don't know, but I've been meaning to say this to you. Are you sure Herod is not an aquatic man? What? Gina, what did you just say? Are you by any chance insinuating that my husband belongs to some sort of secret cult? I'm not insinuating you. I'm only saying the truth, the fact. Oh no, what I'm trying to say is that he's been getting richer by the day. Gina, please! Let this be the first and the last time you will ever say anything like this to my hearing or even to someone else. Aside the fact that we are friends, I will not take this from you. What do you mean by that? I'm very sorry now. I was just overwhelmed by your problem. I'm sorry. I don't know what to think or say again. I'm sorry. Someone is doing this to me. Someone is doing this to me. Whenever, Why don't you take the IVF Dr. Mitchell told you about? Why don't you give it a try? I've seen a lot of couples though. A lot of couples I know have given birth through IVF. <laughs> IVF is not for me. No. Just look at what you are saying. We are here looking for a solution to your problem. I am saying IVF is not for you. So IVF... See, see. I just feel you should go home and think about it. Then you will call me and tell me what your thoughts are. Okay? IVF is not a bad thing. Woman Nebo Wada is close to my office. She, she, she gave birth to Nebo through IVF. Huh? The other woman, that one that used to form too much, that her daughter, it was through IVF. Though the child used to misbehave, I don't know that it's the IVF. Wherever, 
I know. I know what you're going through. Have you forgotten that we're in this together? Baby, it's just been a roller coaster of emotions. I am fat out. I am tired. I'm tired. I just want my own children. I want I them. I know you want your own children. And I want you to believe that one day you will have your own children. When? Huh? When exactly? I want them. I want to hold them in my hands. I want to hold them in me. I don't know when it's going to be. But I know that someday we would carry our own children. But I can't wait. I'm tired of waiting. I'm tired. If you get tired, what happens to me? I draw strength from you. You're the reason why I'm still sane. So if you get tired, I'll get tired too. And if I get tired, trust me, we will both mentally break down. I don't want us to get to that point, please. Heavenly Father in heaven sees our heart and knows how dire we want children in his time. In his time, God will manifest. I 
reject this dream. It will not happen, God forbid. Baby, they tried to plead my innocence that I didn't steal any baby, but they would listen. They kept shouting on the me. Top of their voice, they kept calling me baby thief, baby thief. They set me a place. It was horrible, baby. I reject it. It is not your portion. <laughs> Calm down, baby. My whole body hurts. Okay. My head hurts. My okay. chest. Listen, hey, listen. I would advise that you try and forget whatever this family is currently going through. Huh? Look at you. Look at you. This constant nightmare is as a result of your worries about our childlessness. Okay, just, just, just look at me. You're running the temperature now. Okay, go into the bathroom. Take a shower or just wash your face or pour it on your head. Yeah? Okay. Be fine. From the shows of her feet up to the top of her head She is the epitome of beauty and grace With tears in her eyes, pain in her heart Wakey, wakey, baby. Good morning, baby. Good morning, my love. It's done already. I overslept. Yes, you did. Mm -hmm. And that's because you had a very long night. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Yes, baby. Mm -hmm. So, this is what you're going to do all day. Okay. You'll be in bed. You don't have to go anywhere. You need enough rest for the rest of the day. Baby. You know, I don't know how you do it. You just see my heart. I was just going to tell you. Mm -hmm. Baby, I am tired. I don't think I can make it to the boutique. And here you are just saying the exact same thing. We think alike. My man. 
<laughs> oh, baby. I have to run now, okay? okay. Take care of yourself. Remember, don't do anything strenuous. Mm -hmm. I love you. I love you. Mm -hmm. Okay, have a lovely day. With tears in her eyes, pain in her heart. She never bears no grudge. She's ready to love whenever, however, wherever it takes. She's ready to help wherever, however, whomever you are. She will never, ever, ever. Oh, hi. How are you? Hi. Well, my friend is not around. Yes, we haven't seen her today. Like, seriously? Why? I've been calling her, she's not taking her calls. Her husband came in earlier. He said she's not feeling okay. I'm not sure she'll be coming today. She's not feeling fine? Yes. Her husband said so. Hey! Um, okay, maybe I'll just go to the house to see her. Alright. And take care of the shop. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Um, what about if I'm Yes, she's at the back. Okay. 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 Where is Auntie Gina? She has gone. So soon? Ha. You know Madame is not feeling fine now. She has gone to see her. Okay. Let me continue with what I'm doing. Huh. Oh, Olivia, how are you? Thank you so much for yesterday. The vacation you gave to me worked magic. I told you, sir. I'm glad you brought me sir. Oh, thanks to you. You're welcome, sir. All right. Yeah, come in. Ha <laughs> ha! The unfortunate bachelor. The king of bachelor. Bob brother. The king of bachelor. Please speak to Oh, good day, sir. Yeah, good day, beautiful. My, oh, my. Hey. Ah, you can go to your office then. Thank you, sir. Is everything okay? Yeah, sure. That's your secretary, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. Have you taken your time to look into your secretary? She's so beautiful. My, oh my. In a long while, I haven't seen anything as beautiful as this. What? Anyway, I trust you, you're a bad guy. You must have started digging with her. <laughs> Are you searching for a wife, Oga? Okay? Hell no. I am still the king of bachelors. I'm not searching. <laughs> I thought as much. So what is this discussion for? You said your madam was inside. My madam are there inside my house. But I've been knocking, nobody's answering. I knock well, well. I've been knocking. Well, I knock very well. My madam are there inside my house. Lucia! Papa. Lucia! Better help you if knock. Madam! Madam! Lucia! Madame. Lucia! Madam! Lucia! 
Lucia. Who is that? Lucia. Who is that? It's it's me. It's it's me. It's Gina. It is so obvious that you have completely lost it. I don't understand. Listen. You are my good friend. If you look at that girl so close, you will see that girl has what you want to give you what you seek. What are you getting at? Oh, come on. Can you stop talking like a child? Put the pretense. You know exactly what I'm referring oh to. My goodness. Oh my goodness, Kester. I don't even want to believe what I am thinking right now. Are you in any way suggesting that I should start having an amorous relationship with my secretary? You're missing the point here. Listen. I am not asking you to marry that girl. If you look at that girl, that girl is active and beautiful. That girl can give you what you want. Listen, I know you're married. And your marriage has everything a man desires. But it's one thing that is lacking in that home. A child. Harold, a child. And for that, I should start messing around? Well, I'm not saying you should start messing around. Harold, you can get that girl pregnant and pay her to keep the child. Kester, Kester, like, how can you say this kind of thing to me? How can you look me in the face and say such? You are mocking my wife and I for being childless? I am not mocking your wife, you're making mistakes. Why would I make fun out of your, your, your unfortunate situation? You don't have a child and you need a child. A child is one of the most beautiful things you can find in any marriage. And you don't have it. And you're still here saying nonsense. I am giving you advice and it's always to keep to the advice and you're, you're, you're here reminiscing bullshit. Well, thanks, but no thanks. You need to say that again. Thank me again. I and my wife, Lucia, share a very serious bond. Whether I have a child or not with Lucia, I will not give in to this. I love my wife very much. And I'm sticking with her. Good or bad. This is the reason why they refuse to retain you at where you do your NYC. Useless boy! You don't know what they When they give advice, they're going to talk rubbish. Have you taken any medication? I have. Oh. Hey. You and Herod, are you both having issues like maybe, you know, Marita issues, the way husband and wife used to fight, quarrel, you know, maybe your husband is not talking to you, he's not picking your you calls. Know, what kind of question is this? Just a simple question. Why are you asking me this type of simple question, Gina? Because I'm consigned, I am your friend. I and Herod did not fight, okay? Herod is a good man. He would never raise his hands on me. So, do not think about it. We never fought. Mm. Oh, you are really lucky. Yes. You're very lucky. Very lucky. You know, I was sleeping. It was you that woke me up. So, why are you like this? What happened? I didn't sleep last night. Really? What happened? Because you're a shadow of yourself. You know, I had a very terrible nightmare. Nightmare? It was so scary. <sighs> was it a nightmare or... I don't understand. What, what's happening? In that dream, I was just standing before 
a set of very angry mob. They accused me of stealing a baby. Before I could say Jack, they descended on me. He beat me blue black and set me ablaze eventually. Ha! My whole body hurts. Hey. So that's how they would have just killed my friend like this. God forbid. Indeed, it's it's really a terrible nightmare. Ha! I understand. It is not easy. Married for 10 years without a child. I totally understand. That is why I'm asking you, please, can't you consider this IVF? Oh, not again, Gina. I don't, I don't know. Why are you sounding as if IVF is a sin? IVF is not a sin. For the umpt time, Gina. No, I do not want IVF. Lucia. Is it when your mother-in-law comes here and starts nagging at you, shouting and asking you why you've not given her a grandchild? Is that what you want? Well, my mother-in-law is not my god. <sighs> I will get pregnant. And I will carry my baby in my womb for nine months. And I will give birth like a Hebrew woman. Have you lost faith in God? Have you forgotten that what God cannot do does not exist? He has done it severally for several women in the Bible. He did it for Sarah, he did it for Hannah, he did it for Elizabeth and the, lots of them. So he will do it for me. I will not subject my body to negativity. So no, stop, please. The the, uh, you, you, you know, procrastination can, can, procrastination is a thief of time. I understand, I believe in God. I know, but God has given us that IVF. Mm -hmm. Ah, welcome. Eh? Is it me and believe you are welcoming into my son's house? Yeah. No, take any. As madam of the house. Obria. She will never. Look at her. Mama, just look at her. Barren woman. My brother went to marry and Wanji as a wife. No child, nothing. Just here. Amanda, okay. is that how to greet your elder brother's wife? Greet who? Greet this barren woman. God forbid. I can never in my life greet this barren woman. This woman that don't want to give my brother a child. You want me to greet her? What is good about the greeting? Hmm? Mama, you should have at least called to inform us that you were coming. You know, so we'll prepare for you. Mm. Now you just bashed in. Hmm? Yeah? Hmm. What's after what? Hmm. No, I should have consulted the magistrate, customary court, judiciary, high court. When they approve my letter, then I will call you and ask you if I can come to my son's house. Meaning, meaning another. Useless thing. You think you can have your way around my brother's house? No, you cannot. We have come to dominate my elder brother's house. So if you don't like it, fly you. <laughs> and you are seated in my husband's house, abusing me. Yes. What? Rephrase it. You are in my son's house. Uh -oh. Enjoying. Yeah. Rephrase it. Mama, you two are wrong. Mm -hmm. Your son is a married man now. So court seat demands that before you come into his house, you should inform him and his wife. When you were Mr. Ghost, I've had a Who called? Who are you? Who are you? Hey, hey. Some people are just shameless. Very shameless. Look at you. Instead of you looking for a man to get married to you, so you will go to your husband's house. You are here interfering in matters that does not concern you. Are you part of this family? John. Eh? Amanda, are you talking to me? Amanda. Amanda. 
Amanda, you have the nerves to open this your dirty mouth to talk to me. If you dare talk to me again, eh? I will beat you. Yes, you don't do anything. I am telling you. Who are you? I am not Is this a fat talk? I yeah, should keep quiet. I will beat you. you I will box you. I will you. kill you. You don't know me. I will beat you. Pan, I beat you. Is this your brother's house? <laughs> Come and go outside and look for husband. You're coming to show yourself. <laughs> Lucy, I will talk. You too, you will talk. You My friendship now. What will happen? Well, let me tell you something you don't know. Mm. Well, you are yet to get married. You don't even know your fate in your husband's house. And you're just spilling rubbish to your brother's wife. Yeah. Are you not shameless? You're shameful. Senseless in. Look at you. Back to sender. Back to sender. Just stay good care of yourself. And please do not allow anything they do to you to get to you. Because they don't know what they are doing. Take care of yourself. Thank I'll you call so you much later. for coming. Okay, bye. I'm serious about it. Whether you have a baby for me or you don't have a baby for me, I am with you for better for worse. Okay? What is it? Not again. Don't don't do this. Stop it. I am scared. Scared of what exactly? That you may one day change your mind and give in to the depression. Depression is too much. I would rather die than give in to the pressure. Nobody will make me change my mind towards you. Not even my desperate mother. Don't cry, my baby. Huh? Don't cry. Okay? We're in this together. <laughs> 